All right, we are here in our new uh, Silver Star Satellite Dish Network Hopper 3 and uh, uh, showroom. And I had a customer call me today and ask a question that I kind of gave a knee-jerk reaction to, which isn't uh, what I usually do. I usually, uh, and his question was, uh, he was told that the multi-view, the new feature on the Hopper 3, is only available with a 4K TV. And I was pretty sure that I had done that in my other office without 4K, but this TV was 4K, so I wasn't sure. So I took down the TV in the back here, or on the sidewall, and we're gonna hook it up to just uh, to show. But we're gonna look at the multi-view. So here's the old remotes that we had with the Hopper 2, the 40.0s, a lot of people like them. Here's the new remote with the Hopper 3. So another thing is that either remote or both remotes will work with the Hopper 3. Um, and I'll show that in, because I'm gonna show you how to get to the multi-view with both remotes. So if we're looking at these remotes, with the new remote, you hit this button called Options right here. So. When you hit options, we're going to go down to picture and picture. And actually what he was told kind of messes up, as you can see, my 4K TV. And that's a feature that they're, they're working on. And to fix that, I, have to, I found that if I turn the TV off and then turn it back on, then it, uh, it usually resolves. So, um, right now it's in multi-mode or multi-view or sports bar mode. Um, so right now we're in, it would, if we look at that and we go to picture in picture, it would have a, a multi-view button there, but it's on multi-view. So in multi-view, um, you're able to I'll turn the volume up so you can see. But in multi-view, you can channel from, um, you can go from one square to the other, and that changes the audio. And when you go to a square, you can type in a new channel, and it'll change that channel. As you can see, I can pick whatever four channels I want. So that's the feature that we've been looking for, and this is a 4K TV, and here's the 40.0 remote. So on the bottom, you got the picture-in-picture picture buttons. So you hit picture-in-picture picture to get there instead of options and then picture-in-picture. Picture. So um, with this remote, see if I hit picture-in-picture uh, picture now, it brings me uh, I'm going into it, so it's going to do my problem. So I'll turn that TV off, turn it back on. And then here I am in, in the multi-view. If I hit the picture in picture, I can go to small or change that around. Um, but now on a 4K TV, you can see it's a little glitchy, and I don't know how it works on if we'll pan over to this uh, HD 1080 TV. I have uh, got a long HDMI cable, so I'm going to plug that into our hopper and unplug this guy here. And then we'll see if we can get the multi-view to work on something other than a... So here is uh, this same hopper hooked up to um, a long HDMI cable. So I unplugged that TV and plugged in this one into the HDMI on the same one. And if we hit options, I don't know if, make sure you can see it good. Hit options and then go picture in picture. And uh, then it's on multi-view. 
and if I hit back, here I am on multi-view, and I can arrow from square to square, and I can change channels on any square I want. as you can see. So 1080 TV, multi-view, totally works. Close picture in picture, and I'm back to regular TV. So that's how the multi-view works, and obviously if there's lots of news things going on, some weather, you want to get all the news channels on one screen, uh, March Madness or uh, on Sunday. You want to watch all of the games that are available on the different channels, then this is totally the best product. You can watch a football game and a baseball game at the same time. So that is the Dish Network Multi-View, or also known as Sports Bar Mode.